So now we're in Tadpole and like it, it hopefully is kind of like what you'd expect from a like ROM management thing here, right? Like all those ROMs that were probably hard to see on the screen are essentially in this list. Um, what you have, uh, we'll explore the menu in a second. Uh, we detect which uh, drive is plugged in, uh, which SD card, you know, uh, is there. So like you're seeing, you're not seeing your other drives because none of them have those folders on it that we care about and files on it. Um, so we detect that automatically, and then based on that, uh, we can essentially load up the folders uh, that are connected to this. Um, and um, you can change the console. So here we can change it to SSC, and it's going to load uh, all these ROMs up. Now, one of the first things that I like to do uh, is delete all of the ROMs that it comes with because I have a subset of ROMs that I really like. Um, and there's lots of ways to get a subset of ROMs instead of the like whatever 800 900 there are like top 30 top 50 top 100 you know roms uh, archive.org has some really good rom lists um, and to me it's just it's unmanageable like this is too much going on here um, so within tadpole uh, you can actually select each one individually uh, you can click delete uh, and now it's going to delete that one and then kind of rebuild the rom list uh, the other thing you could do is you can select the whole thing, or you could select like multiple and holding the control key down. Um, and then I could hit uh, delete and it's going to uh, it's gonna get rid of those ROMs and then rebuild the ROM list. Some people might say, can I just go into the folder uh, and do that, right? Like, could I just not go into uh, SFC uh, and literally just delete them? Yes, you can. And deleting actually isn't a big deal. Now, now, adding your own is a little interesting. You can actually add any zipped uh, ROMs up. You can actually add any, like, you know how it was, like, you saw SNES, uh, SNES 9X, I think is what it was. Like, you could add um, ROMs that have the right extensions. Now, you notice all these are uh, have this letter Z in front of it. What they've done is they've essentially taken the ROM file and that thumbnail, and they kind of, like, mushed it into a proprietary file format. What that means is like um, it makes it a little harder to add your own that has the right thumbnail, um, which we'll talk about really uh, in a second. But like you can add your own uh, you can add your own ROM. What you'll see that happens on the data frog is like it just it shows up in the list, plays fine. The thumbnail just says no, no thumbnail. It's not a big deal. But those of us that like buy these consoles, like we spend we we always joke that like you end up spending more time customizing it and getting it perfect than you actually do playing than it. playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, you know, you can spend hours and hours, right, customizing your ROM list and getting your thumbnails right and all that stuff. Um, you know, it's, it reminds me of, like, the South Park, where, like... What do we do now, Carmen? Yeah. We play the game? We play the game. Oh, and, interesting. Uh, yeah, that's a very, like, common, like, theme on, like, the Discord channels and stuff. So... Here's what I like to do. Huh. Um, I actually like to get rid of all of the. I haven't actually tested this in a long time. So we'll oh, you're gonna delete. Ev oh, Ooh. you're, I'm you're delete wiping it, it. I gotta I'm say, gonna... by the way, 142 Chuck Rock. That's gotta be like. It, speaking of Portmanteaus, I kind of wish it would be a Portmanteau of Chuck Norris and Chris Rock. Is that that game where you're the caveman who throws rocks? Okay, it I'm is. looking that up. It wow, is. Wow, it okay. is. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah. I kind of wanted to throw that out there. I would like to see if I can. No, I, I do. I like to delete all of them. You really can. I mean, you can spend as much time as you want. Uh, you'll see I have my own curated list that I'm going to add here in a second. But the first thing I like to do is I like to clear them all out. Um, again, for this video, I actually re-imaged the SD card with the one that ships uh, with it. Um, and uh, I go in here, I just delete them. And... We need to insert the strong bad deleted sound effect. Deleted. Oh, I'll like actually work on that. Oh, that'd be awesome. We should add all those nineties themes to the uh Belt yeah. heated. Deleted. Um with things that like these huge lists, one thing that you notice, I've tried to add a lot of these progress bars in. Um and some places I have it and it's just like again, So the beast the beast mm -hmm. are they actual progress bars or are they oh, fake oh, windows oh. progress bars good question um a lot of them are real and some of them are fake and by fake <laughs> i mean like <laughs> i get it to it like i'll i'll, I'll explain this one in a second but a really good one is like this boot logo 
but like I'm gonna click low upload from local. Look, I jump it to fifty. Oh yeah, that's a fake. Now, yeah, <laughs> it's doing a, it's going and doing something in, a, in a, a function that I can't deal with. It's going to that by serve file and like pulling the bytes out. I don't know what's going on, so I just chuck it to fifty, and that's better than uh, it's if you true. Go to, like here, uh, I'm gonna delete all these GB games. Now notice, um, there's so many here, I really should have a progress bar or something like deleting, right? Cause it looks like it's hung up, um, mm -hmm. but it, it has it, uh, it's deleting and it's just super slow. Jared uh, may not be familiar with the concept of a fake progress bar. I know, I know that some of them, I, I am, one, yes. That one's okay. real, that one's pulling. That one's real, okay. some, some of them really do, you know, indicate the, how far along you are and some of them are bullshit or bull crap excuse me i'll be there i'll put a beep there <laughs> tommy will tell you if he watches this which is a bad word. Beep. i i appreciate the uh i appreciate the attention to detail there jason hey i you know do what i get you don't get a yeah. lot of, um you know you get like uh, you know, you have to build a lot of stuff your own. Oh, there's a 007. Oh, yeah. Here. I never played that. So I didn't either. Um, when, I've been doing a lot and of you're testing. deleting it. I know. It's all got, I can never get it back. Now, I have all these files <laughs> saved. Oh, uh, okay, good. Not like these are, he he the, said he, he imaged it before he did anything. Just yeah, that's yes. right. He did say that. That's right. Um, you already well, did Famicom. Uh, I forgot to select. I, I didn't actually do it. I think I was... Uh, I, uh, I think I... I think I uh, started with it. I think it was deleting one. We'll we'll see here in a second if it's performing correctly. Um, so does this also run the Okama Game Sphere games? <laughs> as far as I know. What was it called? Thirst for Blood? Or was that the game they were playing? Yes, I was believe that so. Was that Thirst, thirst <laughs> well, for Blood? There was also what, like Al? No, no, no. No, that was that was a different episode. Oh sorry. man, you ripped off his legs and beat him over the head with it. Oh man, they like got increasingly more violent. <laughs> yeah, just you, ri a, you ripped out just his a rip spine. off of Mortal Kombat. It was, yeah, it was all a commentary on Mortal Kombat. I missed the uh, which one was it? Where? Oh no, it was the new Guitar Hero, the uh, chase the dragon, and then you inject yourself with <laughs> yes. heroin or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the Guitar Hero one always made me laugh because Randy comes out and like actually plays the songs on his guitar and they're all like, Dad, that's so lame. You're so lame, Dad. He's like, no, but I can really play it. And they're like, no, no, that's lame. Okay. I, I right, so have you that, deleted them I all? In my soul. Um, I left, now I don't have a curated list for arcade. Um, I don't know anything about name and arcade and all this oh, stuff. Oh, Alien vs. Predator. Leave, yeah, Why it it was a Dungeons and Dragons leave game. Leave all of them. Yeah, I leave all. I just leave these here because I don't have a curated list. So arcade, I, okay. I tend to leave alone. Um, okay, so now before we go add ROMs into that stuff, let me just watch. I just want to. I hope there's Dark Stalkers in there. That would be amazing. Um, <laughs> I think right. you could add. Um, so um, I'll show you settings in a second because it's more relevant to like when you're doing something. Now OS basically is anything that's not with ROMs we put in here. So um, you know, firmware is basically the stuff that makes all of this work. So it's like the screen that you saw. <clears throat> like I mentioned, the um, the data fraud company actually has put out a couple different versions of firmware. Um, Tadpole will let you upgrade. Um, you can also like downgrade if for some reason you wanted to. But like for this, I'm going to go ahead and do detect and update because the one that I flashed was the firmware from May and there was an updated version. There's that fake progress bar for you. Um, that will actually update to the latest one. Ooh, did it go? I don't know if I haven't tested this in like like a week or two. Um, didn't pop a dialog, which makes me a little worried. Um, I think it's working now. Uh, oh, Mike, 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 getting ready to take a shot. Take that uh, shot. I I did go get a refill on my whiskey, so it, yeah. Let me see if did. this one works. Um, please don't Eric, work. Please don't work. Please don't work. So um, Eric, who is the creator of Tadpole, and I have come in and like just made a mess of all of his code. Um, many of the features that like deal with showing the list and like the ROMs and like combining, you'll see thumbnails and stuff like that in a second, all come from Eric. If it doesn't work, it's probably because I messed it up. Um, but, you know, we've been kind of merging our code and like doing some cleanup. So I haven't done some testing here in a, a day or two on some of these. So, um, 
anyway, you can update the firmware. Uh, that's a good thing to always do. It, the, the latest one from August didn't change a whole lot, but it like it did improve performance a little bit. Um, you know, there were a couple other small changes. Um, it is interesting that the company that makes these are actually supporting them. It is very, yeah, very unique. Um, yeah. Uh, the community thinks that it's probably like in their best interest for the next version that they write anyway. And then they're getting like mm. testing with it kind of. So like the assumption is that they'll like, you know, use it for the next version. Of Makes the sense. Stuff. Makes yeah. sense. Now in this menu, uh, there are two other um, options uh, in addition to detecting and uh, updating. Uh, one is this thing called a battery fix. Um, what this does is uh, it doesn't actually make the battery change. That little on the top right, it shows how much battery is left. And there's like four little bars. Um, as the battery goes down, those it doesn't work very well, like out of the you know out of the box. And uh, there's a creator uh, DTN, and then there's some other ones that have done a really good job figuring out like how to make the battery meter like more accurate. And then also mm-hmm. like pop a little dialogue that's like your battery is about to die, uh, which is part of the firmware. But what happens is the screen loses power. The backlight loses power before that pops. So often <laughs> you're like played and the game, like it's still on, but the backlight's die and the thing pops. So uh, this battery fix essentially uh, will go ahead and just fix the firmware, um, you know, to, to make this work. Well, I don't know if this will work. I just, hey y'all, work. if your screen goes black, your battery's probably low. That's probably it. Um, <laughs> So anyway, so like you can, again, patch the firmware from that, which is nice. And then that last option is just the one that I showed in the beginning, which fixes the bootloader. Um, you don't have to do it again. Once you've fixed your frog, if you change SD cards, all that kind of stuff, you don't have to run that again. Okay, that's OS. Themes. Um, uh, this is fun. So like we'll go to this website. Um, there have been a lot of themes created for the data frog. And there's a couple of folks that have been writing and collecting. Uh, Zerter here has been collecting a lot of these, and uh, and he's made quite a few himself. And what oh, we do with that's fun. Uh, is we actually go and we uh, pull all of these themes uh, right into Tadpole, so you don't have to worry about downloading them and then like, you know, change, basically putting all the files in the right places. Uh, you can just use the website to see what you like, um, and uh, I'll let y'all pick. Uh, what do you what do you want to have here for your theme? There's no Hollow Live, right? Hollow Live. No, that, oh, that's the, no that's Zelda Live. one. What's uh, Retro Wave? Uh, retro Wave. Uh, I haven't looked. Is it down on this list? There we go. Oh, like that. that's cool. Oh, it's got that's pretty neat. I, yeah, like, I that. like that. All right, Retro Wave. All right, let's go Retro Wave. Again, I haven't tested these in a long time, so I'm sure it'll work great. Michael's going to take a shot. It's going to be great. Um, here it goes. This actually does work. This progress bar. Sorry, like I don't know if it will actually work, but like uh, the progress bar worked. Now I changed the theme. It gives you a little sample here on the website, but we can always pop it out and pop it into the frog real quick. Um, something that Eric did that was kind of cool is like the app doesn't close. Uh, I did some, some some versions where I was like, this is too annoying, and so I was like trying to close the app. Uh, while oh, you you could just like remove it without closing the app, and it doesn't care. Exactly, which nice. is really nice. Um, that is nice. So uh, that was really good stuff by Eric. Uh, let's see if this works. Uh, there's, we'll change that boot logo in a second. Uh, there you go. Can you all see that? You're coming through okay? Oh, nice. Cool. Very neat. Right. I like that. That is a cool theme. Uh, and so the themes change uh, different parts. So like this theme appears to only change like the main menu stuff here. Other themes will change some of these other backgrounds. So I'm going to turn it off. Um, I'm going to plug the SD card back in. I have not done hot swapping like this for testing in a while, so I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> All right, back into the micro SD slot. And then it popped up. Um, and these are all empty because I haven't added uh, any ROMs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not going to show this one, but my favorite. Uh, is actually this one called Simple Garlic uh, Theme, Garlic OS. There's a, a bunch of um, other devices that have this operating system called Garlic OS, which is really just like a super clean, simple view uh, of it, and I kind of like it. So I'm going to go hit that one uh, for now, and I'll kind of show you why I like that one in, a, in just a couple minutes here. All right, so 
we, up, we updated the firmware, right? We updated the theme, cool. So we're making our way down the list. Uh, background music, um, y'all heard that like, you know, 80s elevator music. Oh, wow, Call Up Your More, that actually is Hololive. Oh, cool, okay, so um, again, same thing with themes. Uh, lots of background music. Uh, that guy DTN that I was mentioning earlier, he's created a tool that you can like add and create your own music, like based on your own stuff. Oh. Uh, so like, again, we just integrate those in. So like we have a GitHub uh, repository, basically a place that we upload and they show right up here and you don't have to update Tadpole. They just show up. Um, you can preview it. Uh, I don't know if that's going to trigger any copyright stuff if you do. Oh, that. good point. Good point. All right. Uh, they could, could call probably. And they have all those bots that like determine that stuff. Um, I'm going to turn it to empty for now. Um, because is, is that generally, what you use generally? Yeah, just because, like, I don't know, like, you know, if I'm going, like, with that theme, that garlic OS, if I was doing, like, let's say I was making this a, um, a Pokemon. Um, For uh, the boys. Frog. Yeah. Um, so is it is it possible, then, to load your own sound and or image files to create your own background music and background? Yeah. In fact, you can. So uh, for each of these things, uh, there's one that we include. Also, uh, just, local uh, file. So you can just like create your own, or if like we don't have it in a repository, you can go and pull it from like a folder, uh, and you can pull everything in yourself. Uh, and then same with background music, uh, you can just grab your own, basically upload, uh, and then and push it right to it. Interesting. That cool. is pretty neat. All right, I really wanted. To just, I like this. So this one looks cool. There's a black one that's really nice. I wanted to show you the Mario one. The black one looks really nice. Um, oh well. You look really but, nice. <laughs> but yeah. to your point, you could, uh, thank you. You could like have it Mario, you could use a Mario theme, and you could have all the games be Mario, you know, um, mm. an example. Uh, okay, we've got the theme, background music, boot logo. Now, um, uh, we could, uh, we haven't done this yet, but like, just like we do this, we could actually have a bunch of boot logos um, uh, that are part of it. We, we just haven't like built that feature out. But this site, again, has lots of boot logos. These are cool. Uh, all playing with the Data Frog staff. Oh, Jared, the little frogs. Jared, the one I think you'll really like. Uh, let me uh, let me just do it right within the tool. So I've downloaded a couple. I'm going to upload one. Now, what it's going to do is show you the existing one here in a second. That weird welcome thing. Uh, I'm going to pick my own. Uh, I'm going to go into boot logos. And then this guy is my favorite. Oh, that's great. That's pretty great. I, I like that. I, I switched between that one and these like Data Frog SF2000, like Super Nintendo ones. They're super cute. Um, Man, I'd do, so one with, I'd do one with uh, the frog that he saves in Blaster Master. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if there is one like that yet. You could make one. You could contribute. Oh, oh I might. You could uh, for free. For free. Yeah, yeah. Give it out to everybody. Um, now, this is a little crazy. You'd think this was just like a picture, and like you just upload it, and you're good to go. In fact, it's really complicated. Um, that picture is embedded in the, essentially, like the firmware file, that BISRV file. Oh. Got to go in and literally like write the bytes to a specific section in that binary file. <laughs> Super complicated. Um, but again, the, the community's done an amazing job. In addition to Tadpole, there's like lots of web tools uh, to do this stuff. Like Zerter here has some really cool things to like go and just, um, you know, basically generate pictures off of PNGs. So if you wanted to make your own, you can, and then you could just do upload, you know, from your own from your own set there. So lots of cool community stuff on that. Um, and then um, there's not much here yet. I think there's actually one for Neo Geo. I was just seeing today, like another improved uh, BIOS for the Neo Geo stuff. Uh, there is this hmm. one for Game Boy. Again, like it's one little file uh, that goes in there. It just puts it in the right place, and that lets you fix um, some games like Finish Cap. That's the OS stuff. Any questions? No. What else you got for us? A couple more. Um, now, this menu basically, like as you're modifying stuff, um, you know, it's it's always trying to update. You can also like tell it to update all of it at once. And what that's essentially doing is just making sure all those files that you would like, that you saw ZSVs, that like all that stuff, it just does it for all the folders. Um, and just the off chance that you were like 
mess around with the SD card and like not, you know, maybe changing some things. Uh, so it's just kind of like a catch all little button to make sure everything's right. Uh, this is nice. You can actually back up all your saves. So uh, within each of those, uh, I don't, we, we just formatted this, so it's not really going to have anything interesting. Um, but I can, uh, what it's going to do is go into all those emulators and there's a save folder. And every time you do a save state, uh, it actually goes, uh, which is really nice, into, uh, uh, into that. Oops. Uh, we're right here. Uh, did I save one on Game Boy? I can't remember like, when I was playing Link's Awakening. Anyway, all those would be here. And then Tadpole actually lets you save all those save files. Again, so in case you're nice. SD cards, problem. Oh, cool. Your save, you can then just, uh, we don't have like an upload, but like there, you just blop them right back in the folder. So we're, we're moving right along. So we've done. Uh, loose and fancy done. free. All right, Sorry, let's, let's move quickly to this. Uh, what was that? That was the next line to what you said, moving right along for this. It's from the Muppet movie. Just Muppet don't movie. Worry. Yeah, don't worry about so. it. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. So now I'm going to do basically adding of uh, adding of um, ROMs, and then we're going to do some thumbnails, and then we're going to do some game shortcuts, and then we're done. Okay. Bye. All right. Let's try this again. Add ROMs. Uh, you, ROMs, NES, Adventure. There we go. We there it goes. Like, all right, y'all. Now we're making some business. So do it. Gonna, Whole, whole we'll cut section. that in post. <laughs> it works great. Um, all right, so now it's saying, do you want to add thumbnails? Now, this this is how I got into uh, into Tadpole. So this wasn't here when I started. What Eric had implemented was you could add these zip files. You could also go in here and add your own thumbnails. Now, he had a feature also to like download them automatically uh, from like the internet. And it kind of worked depending on like the name of it. Um, I came in and like tried to, uh, 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 George, you know, Jazz. Jazz helped me a little bit try to like fix and try oh. to make it better. Um, and we got it pretty good. We got into a state that was pretty decent. And I was doing more research and like asking people in Discord. And what I found out is that this tool called Scraper is really popular. Um, and for good Scrape reason. Scrape you. Yes, you will. Yes, um, you will. So if I go and take this SD card out right now, you'll see all of these ROMs. Uh, in uh, in that list, and they will all run fine. Notice they're all that zip, no problem. Uh, they'll all load correctly. Uh, they won't have the thumbnail, and for some reason, we all want those thumbnails. Um, now, <laughs> one thing you can do uh, in settings is play with these thumbnails and get them like kind of the way you want uh, to look and feel and, and things. So the first thing is you can view the thumbnails in the ROM list. Now, the reason why I added this was as I was updating, I was like, oh, that one's good enough, or this one's not good enough, or this one's missing. Um, if I go to arcade, you'll see why that looks a little bit better here. So I'm going to double crash. I don't think I've broken that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And good. Um, so these are all the thumbnails for those arcade games, right? Um, but my newly added zip files don't have those thumbnails. All uh, right. In settings, you could go in here and you could automatically download from the internet. And it kind of works. And the thumbnails are okay. We've got like a place that downloads them. It's, it's decent, but not great. Better is to upload your own, but then like how do you go find and build that? And we'll show that in a second with Scraper. Um, and then like, do you want to always overwrite or do you just want to add like new ones? Um, again, if you're doing a bunch of changes and you've got like your existing ROM, um, those again, that, those thumbnails don't look great as what you'll see in a second. Um, and it might be nice to like overwrite them. So that's why I added that little thing. There. So I'm gonna say, um, let's view and uh, let's upload. Now, we just uploaded all these zips and you notice um, when I was adding them, uh, it did ask me, do I wanna try to, uh, you know, do I wanna add thumbnails for it? Um, I said, no, just cause we were adding those. Now, here's what we can do. We can say yes, and it's gonna let me pick, um, you know, where those thumbnails are. And again, you could go do a bunch of manual work and find all these things, or you can use a cool tool called Scraper. Uh, Scraper is on the internet. We'll have links to it. Um, it is built by, I think, some French people, given that it's like mostly French. There's something with French in the title and stuff. And Thank uh, you, the French. I don't see, I don't see French anywhere. We should thank the French. Well, we should thank... Um, Monsieur Lafayette for, you know, 
basically saving the U.S. back in 1776. Yeah. But foie, gras, foie gras, delicious. Anyway, thank you, the yeah. French. That's true. It's the, uh-huh. the geese. The geese don't agree, but no, I know it's not. It's not very nice for the geese, but it is delicious. Uh. It's true. Anyway, uh, here it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wait, I'm we digress. We, we digress we, again. Very much digress. Um, now, this is really cool and powerful, but it's also like a bit to set up. Uh, there's a bunch of great YouTube videos. Um, you have to like create an account to like get the full feature and all that. So you should really create an account. When you're doing setup, you have to point to the root of your ROM folder. What that means is like, um, you know, if you have a folder that has all of your ROMs in it, you can basically tell Scraper, my, all my ROMs are here. And then it's going to go and like try to look at all these folders and see what they are. And based on what they are, it creates these like, you know, uh, consoles for them, which is cool. And then each of these consoles has a bunch of settings and whatnot. Um, there's a lot to unpack. I wanted to show two things uh, from this. So when you're setting up for scraping, specifically for data frog, um, all of this is generally fine. Again, like I've pointed it to um, uh, to this folder, and that's that's actually normally where I have like my bigger set of ROMs. Um, and I create an account because it gives me like more what they call threads. And you're like you need threads because it takes a long time to download all these pictures. Um, game list you don't have to worry about for data frog. Uh, this is cool, like with more advanced. Uh, retro consoles that use like a file that like gives you more details and videos and all kinds of stuff for frog doesn't matter metadata um this again is where it's like trying to pull the type of pictures you want and how it wants to like figure out what that's going to look like um and like try to figure out you know is it is it um uh, Jenny, like Final Fantasy is probably a good example, right? Like, is it Final Fantasy one and or is Final Fantasy two in the U.S. or is it Final Fantasy two in Japan? Um, mm, it'll it's try okay. to like figure out the wrong file. I don't know about you guys, but I use a VPN that sets my location in Myanmar, so <laughs> that's. I think we're okay for the metadata aspect of it. All right. Um, the most important thing, and we'll provide links for this, is the type of media that it generates. Now you can change this. They've got some built-in ones, but there is a really cool um, uh, version called Garlic Onion Mix. And that view there, notice it's like taller, right, than, than wide. And in the Data Frog menu, that's a really good size for uh, that thumbnail viewer that's in that big list. Because what I was doing when I was pulling a bunch of the images, kind of what Eric had implemented, what I tried to improve, it's taking more like this kind of stuff. The, the title screen and, and like, then cropping it. Yeah, exactly. Cropping or stretching, um, which was kind of worse, right? So like, yeah. uh, I think most of it was like, yeah, image. Yeah, it was like kind of like in-game stuff. So this is a really nice format. What it's doing um, is putting like the cool game title up top. It's got like a little bit of like a, a gradient there and then it shows the game, you know, and we'll see. It almost we'll, looks like the case, like the, you know, like the case of the game when you buy it almost sonic yeah. sonic the egg truck 2 actually had sonic and tails giving you the peace sign kind the of peace signs that's yeah, right it's, it's but still different. that that looks good it looks good on the left it looks good and you'll see like the ones that it generates for the games that we love it looks really good too um now you get ge- you can generate two uh medias which is actually really good for the data frog because we're going to be able to replace those game shortcut icons there on that home screen so what you want is kind of like that square one right um, you could do screenshot. I really like the title screenshot. Oh, one. title's good. Yeah, that is, that's that nice. That one's nice. You can do fan art, but I, I ended up picking title art. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the, the output folder, basically just like, where do you want it to go? Um, uh, and then like cleanup just means delete old ones or whatever. And then um, for these, uh, you actually want to do like 124 by 124 uh, because that's the size of the pixels on the screen for that little box. Now, if you don't do that, it's actually not a big deal. Um, we uh, th- there's a, a person on Discord. I think his name was Doggy World. Oh man, I think it's Doggy World. Uh, he did some improvements to the code to like make these look even better, and like he brings them and puts a little nice little white border, and like looks really good. 
So um, all good if they get like size, size down a bit, uh, he tries to keep the aspect ratio and all that. Um, same thing here. Um, these, uh, they're taller than they are uh, wide. And even if you didn't have this set, they'd still fit pretty well. Um, these just happen to be the exact dimensions of those thumbnails. So it's just nice to set them if you can remember. Um, otherwise, um, you know, basically like you set those, you know, there's nothing here that you need to worry about really. Um, but I did change something here. I don't know if it helped or not. Um, how is it going to find the media? And basically uh, CRC is kind of looking at that ROM file and detecting what it is. Uh, it's kind of like a, um, a checksum, like probably knows, right? Like um, based on what that unique long value is, it goes and finds that value, even if the name is completely different, it knows it's the exact same ROM and then it does a lookup and then it finds the right media. Um, if it has that great, otherwise it just uses the file name to find it. And then the reason why I was, uh, you know, being the American, they had Japanese listed ahead of world and a lot of the matches for whatever reason were matching Japanese titles, probably because the ROMs I'm getting are still Japanese based or whatnot, even though they look pretty much all straight English to me. Um, but I was just finding on YouTube, people were saying, push the Japanese to the end. And like, you'll normally get the right match between us and, and what is, you know, world here. I don't know what SS means. Um, Secret service. I Soviet Union. No, no. Oh, okay. So no. I do want to show you something really, really, really important that Mike will love and Jared will appreciate it too. I'm just trying to find like a simple, um, what's one that's like, I love you. Uh, I yes, do like I do like Mame is the is the emulator for the arcade, so you can in fact play Darkstalkers, and that answers that question. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, I wanted to run this. I can see Felicia in beautiful. Over one, on the what, right what was it? One forty-seven by one forty-seven. Oh, look at that! They look really good. Oh, that's yeah. neat. Ooh, so it goes. Metroid, Contra you can buy three. More. These look really Secret good. of Mana. Zelda. These are only for my like curated list. Um, RPG, Bank of Man 10. Nine, so you start this going and you just leave it. Oh, yeah. For a like, while. And I, I picked Super Nintendo because uh, I'll come back here in a second. But um, the ending of Scraper is probably the best part. Uh, it plays a very awesome sound once it's done. So I'll try to keep my mic close by here. Well, I guess what was it? <laughs> okay. Okay, let, us, let us know what the sound is that we're. You'll hear it. You'll know. Um, it'll, You'll know. Uh, You'll know. Oh, no, you won't, because it's not coming to the computer. Darn it. There's no way for me to fix it. Um, it's the Final Fantasy VII uh, Battle Complete. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, no. It's really good. Um, okay, so it's going to do its thing. It's going to make all those images. All right, so now back to Tadpole. Uh, here we are. You can, do, you can add them all and then hit, like, um, you know, it'll say, do you want to add thumbnails? Just say yes, and it basically is the same thing as this button. Um, what I did for... Uh, sorry, um, copyright. All right, so but, I had those two media types output, right? One was uh, basically that full height, the one that uh, that garlic OS thing that I showed. The other one was just those title images. Now, for thumbnails, these are the ones in that list. Uh, we want to do the full height. Now, you want to make sure that you're in the right folder. Uh, I am in uh, Nintendo, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to select full height and select folder. Uh, now it's going to go and basically grab all those files. Here's a little bit of fake progress bar. Um, and basically <laughs> uh, add all those thumbnails uh, onto that. Now, here they are. So because ah. I had settings uh, previously, like you could just, you could just, you know, know they're there. Notice that they've all changed from zip over the ZFC format. Um, nice. Which, you can go in here and actually view them, right? So that was kind of nice. Uh, these look nice. Really good. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and of course, if you don't like it individually, you can go in here and change it, right? You can go pick your own. Uh, you can modify. All right. Laser tits for everything. Yeah. Yeah, for everything. I mean, look at these. Look so good. Um, looks really nice. Nice. Those actually look really nice. I like yeah. them. Yeah. Now, uh, we're on to the last feature, uh, which is game shortcut. And... Um, out of the box, right? It was showing those four icons, and um, some of them were okay. Like they were, they were generally pretty decent games. But you know, once you blast all your games away, you want to pick your own. So um, what we're going to do here is pick our favorite game, Blaster Master. And we're obviously going to Blaster Master in. 
Um, oh, my mouse is. I think it's something with this Bluetooth. All right, put blaster. Oh, and you pick your oh. four. Yeah. What do you want? What's next? Um, have a have a. a there was Final Fantasy. Much oh, yeah. Final Fantasy. Metroid. Wait. Oh, that's interesting. They had Rockman up there instead of Mega Man. Yeah, so that was probably a CRC match, right? Like that it got Rockman instead. So yeah, but uh, this is but this is this is all um, NES stuff, right? Yeah. 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 So okay, I was gonna say Final Fantasy three, but it's okay. It's okay. Is that? Oh, I may not have. Wait, it's three. Well, you may not have that one on here. Yeah, that's an NES. Yeah, Final Fantasy Final Fantasy three is NES. In the U.S. or in in Japan. Japan? Correct. Yeah, because two and yeah. two and three, they were never released here, right? Or well, they were later. It's true. Yeah, I think I have it here. My Super Nintendo. Um, oops. Let me go grab it here. Because in Super Nintendo, it was six technically. Six in Japan, three here, right? Yes. Ooh, that's Act right. Razor. Yeah, Act Razor. Do Act Razor. All right. We'll pull them all in. We'll add this. Up. It's super fast. Once you did like, now that I've had them all generated, it's going to pull them in. I'm going to click yes. I do want to add the thumbnails. It's already in the raw mess of the S folder because I remembered it. I'm going to click it. It's going to copy them. It's going to take a little bit of time. Now, if you had a list of like a couple hundred, this is going to be rough because it's got to pull all those thumbnails. It's got to generate the files. Um, so like you could see my list there was like, I don't know, 40 or 40 or so. Um, I need to uh, I need to improve the progress bar here because I think we can get a little better. I, I basically got that's the, completely uh, fake. It's very well the first 50, which it wasn't 50, but basically I did get all of the um, all of the files downloaded. What's going on now is it's got to convert every single file uh, uh, from that, zip zip to ZFC. Yeah. So if we cheat and we go over here and look at, oh, I think it finished finally. Uh, here we go. So here we go. There you go. Look good. Um, nice. All right. So, like, of course, Super Metroid, all that good stuff. Uh, oh, what did you want? It's okay. <laughs> I meant I meant Final Fantasy three, as in Final Fan. Actually, Final Fantasy three, not Final Fantasy six. But it's okay. It's I know. Okay. Um, all right. You're right because that's not even three, really. Right? That's six. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Because we we were on NES. That's why I meant three. Right. But the point being, that. okay. Point being, you can pick your four go tos. It, well, exactly. well. So this this is a good point. It means you can pick your four go tos um, per system. Per system. That's exactly yes. Right. And it's not and change them once you beat them. Yeah. 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 You can change them at any yeah, time, but it's, it. exactly. but it's, it's nice that it's not, it's not, um, system agnostic. You can choose the system that you're playing a game on and pick the four for that system that are your favorites. Right. Right. And if you, Leon, like if you're, let's say you beat them and you want to change them, um, you can just do this. It's going to tell you that you have battle toads, time. battle toads. That's what it is. Battle battle toads. Toads. You need to do battle toads for any, answer. and it'll change, uh, it'll change. Uh, it it'll warns you it. and then lets you change it. There exactly. It, it's just going to automatically do it because it's not that big of a deal. Um, I didn't want to put like, are you sure on every single thing? So, um, all right. So now we've changed literally the the shortcut, which is all we had for a while. Now, this is really cool. Um, I'm going to click change game shortcut icon. Um, it's really crazy, but um, here I'm going to skip this. I'll show you that in a second. This screen with these icons is actually just a binary file. And it's literally like, um, these are not separate pictures to the data frog, which is really frustrating because what that means is if you wanna change these icons, you have to go take those PNG files and like use some Python or like choose your, you know, choose whatever coding you want and like go and um, put them all into these files. And you can manually do it too with like a MS Paint or whatever. And then you save it as a PNG and then you convert it over to this like format that the data frog supports. It's a lot of work. Um, that's why a lot of themes just use like kind of generic icons. Um, but we built a pretty cool feature uh, that it basically will pull in uh, those thumbnails. Uh, you can pull those thumbnails and change them yourself. So uh, for example, right, like Blaster Masters right here, it's this icon. 
Um, and I'm going to go into uh, NES, and I'm going to go to Title, and then I'm going to go to Blaster Master, and then I'm going to select it. Uh, and it's going to show up there. So nice. I picked oh, cool. the icon, and uh, those are very different, right, size-wise and whatnot. So they look a lot better rather than, like, kind of stretching or, like, keeping the aspect ratio and putting really thick white borders. Those are really good. Now, you can do this for every single game. Uh, there was a guy on Discord. I think his name was G A. Is it G A L? Somebody was like, "Can you?" I I changed themes and I lost all that hard work for my shortcut icons. Um, now, if you change themes, uh, these numbers don't change. They're separate files. It's literally just like, again the picture changes. And he was like, "I just wasted all this time. I didn't realize the themes, you know, screwed up those icons." So what we built was um, pick your uh, whoops, pick your uh, folder. Oh, I did click it, right? Pick your folder that has those icons, and what it tries to do is match based on the name. Now, if you've used Scraper, mm. all of those thumbnails uh, that it's generating are based on the name itself. It creates those PNGs exactly based on it. So here, it just was super easy. It's like it pulled them all in really nicely. Nice. Uh, and then I just click Save, and I'm off to the races here. And again, I can do that for uh, all of them here. And... Change. And again, we could, you could even like automate this if you wanted to and be like, okay, let's just assume they want it, you know, um, but, you know, we figured. So there in SNES, right, we were playing around. We didn't actually select one for game one or for one two. One and four. Yeah. So like we could go in here, like I always like Actraiser. Um, and then we'll throw Dark Dawn Country in number four. Uh, we'll go in here. We'll get it to pick. It keeps it saved, which is nice. It'll pull it. Boom. Nice. Good to go. Very, very nice. Cool. Uh, that's all like the big features. Uh, there's one new one that's coming uh, out soon. We'll, we'll do one last look on the, the frog here to look at all this that we've all the work we've done. Um, I was working on this today. Now, let's say you didn't do that bootloader fix that we talked about in the beginning and you have a blank screen. Normally, you have to go re-image. Re-imaging 16 gigabytes on a micro SD card uh, takes like, you know, depending on a lot of things, 20, 30 minutes. Um, we have a feature now with Tadpole where like we'll go uh, and like help you format it, uh, download all the files properly, um, and then like, you know, make it a lot faster for you. And then we'll go do the bootloader fix so that doesn't happen to you again. So that's like a, a feature that we're bringing in. Um, and then I just, uh, the README actually pulls in some extra information that uh, Eric had pulled in that's super helpful for learning. And again, I just wanted to call out uh, Eric, uh, who's done all like a lot of the hard work and groundwork for Tadpole, um, apparently WikiWiki, Wiki, uh, who I've never met, did some work on it as well. And then also the original creator of the Frog tool, which did a lot of this ROM management and conversion over to these ZSF CSF files and all these formats, uh, was by this person, TZLION, TZLION, I don't know. 